Hello, this is your instructor, Mrs. Pochnick. In this unit of the School Age Child, we will look at what intelligence is in a variety of learning theories. Since the School Age Child represents a child between 5 and 11 years old who spends hours a day in school learning and doing homework at night also, it is important to understand how the mind absorbs information along with the influence of the emotional, social, and physical aspects of the entire child. These are some of the areas a school psychologist must study in order to help children reach their fullest potential. First, we will look at what intelligence is. Then, we will look at a variety of learning theories. For this little presentation, you will be able to experience what are some types of questions on an IQ test. And IQ stands for Intelligence Quotient. For each question shown, I will wait a few seconds to give you a chance to figure out the answer. If you need more time, you can pause the video. One concern we will discuss at a later time involves the concept of how relevant IQ tests are. For example, if a person just hasn't been exposed to a certain word, so fails a question because of that, does that mean the person is not as smart as someone else who just happened to have been exposed to that word? This brings up a topic of how much our culture and experiences affect test scores. So, let's have some fun and look at what is involved in an IQ test. First, I wanted to just share um, the different categories of questions that are asked. Can you think of different categories that are on an IQ test? If you want to think about it longer, pause the video. I will uncover the answer right now. There's the different categories. Math, spatial, logic, verbal, visualization, pattern, and classification. Did you know any of those? Now here's the category of the verbal type questions. So we have the first one. It says rearrange the following letters to make a word and choose the category in which it fits. So you unscramble the word to see what it is and then is it a city, a fruit, a bird, or a vegetable? If you'd like to have more time, go ahead and pause the video because I'd like to to uncover the answer. Okay, the correct answer is a parakeet, which of course is a bird. So question two, find the answer that best completes the analogy people are to democracy as wealthy is to what? And you have the choices below. If you'd like more time, go ahead and pause and I will uncover the answer now. And the answer is plutocracy. And if you're not familiar with what that means, it's a government in which the wealthy class rules. So then that makes sense. People are to democracy as wealthy is to plutoc plutocracy. Let's go to the next slide. So here we have spatial questions. In the picture for number one, on the left, if you folded along those dotted lines, what shape would you end up with? A, B, C, or D? Oops, I didn't mean to move the slide. If you'd like more time, go ahead and pause the video and I will uncover the answer. And it's A. Did you get that right? For number two, which of the cubes is the same as the unfolded cube below? If you'd like more time, go ahead and pause the video. The answer is A. How'd you do? And the next category has to do with visualization. For the question says, P 
pick the piece that's missing from the diagram below. So you put A, B, C, or D in the rectangle box up above. If you need more time, pause the video. The answer is A. Did you get that right? For the classification questions, number one says which word does not belong? So we have apple, marmalade, orange, cherry, and grape. And if you want more time, pause the video. Because the answer is B. For number two, which number does not belong? If you need more time, uh, pause the video. And the answer is 17. And the explanation is that 17 is the only odd number. For logic questions, number one, at the end of a banquet, 10 people shake hands with each other. How many handshakes will there be in total? If you'd like more time, go ahead and pause the video. The answer is C. In my face-to-face -face class, my students at first didn't think that was a correct answer, so they really wanted to figure this out, and they worked at it, and the answer really is 45, even though they, <laughs> they really thought it was wrong, but that is the true answer. For number two, the day before the day before yesterday is three days after Saturday. What day is it today? If you'd like more time, go ahead and pause the video. The correct answer is E. Did you get that right? The pattern recognition questions are like this. For number one, find the picture that follows logically from the diagrams to the right. So you have your three pictures to the left and then you choose A, B, C, or D to complete the, the sequence of pictures. If you'd like more time, go ahead and pause the video. And the correct answer is A. Did you get that right? And for number two, find the picture that follows logically from the diagrams to the right. If you need more time, please pause the video. The answer is C. How'd you do? So it's kind of fun to just see what they ask. Um, some people are very good in different special areas. Some people might be really good in the verbal area or maybe the visualization area or the logic. We have strengths in different areas and maybe weaknesses in others. Did you enjoy working on these types of puzzles? There are books available with these types of puzzles and people will work on these things for fun. Do you think these people would do well on taking an IQ test such as this? Does this mean that they have higher intelligence level than the people who don't work on these types of puzzles, puzzles for enjoyment? There are many questions about the validity of IQ tests and we'll learn more about this topic and other kinds of tests. There's a lot of different kinds of intelligence tests. So we'll investigate these in this unit. Bye-bye.